transience. Destruction. Everything earthly is perishable. There is no human being, who does not know this, and nevertheless there are only few humans, who take this fact to heart and do not strive for earthly goods, there are only few humans, who strive for the imperishable. The majority however uses all strength, in order to arrive only into the possession of earthly goods despite the knowledge around their transitoriness. And it justifies to the question, how these could be taken away probably the desire for it, without to cut the free will. The knowledge of the transitoriness alone is not enough, as long as man can only enjoy his possessions for the time of his life. And there is only the possibility to make him again and again aware of the transitoriness by losing his own possession by influence on the part of man or by expression in nature. Only when man recognizes the hopelessness of his efforts, only when he recognizes that he himself has no power to secure his possessions, can his striving slowly change and turn to other goals. But some people need a very long time for this realization, until they get tired of the hunt for earthly possessions, and they waste, as it were, the precious earthly lifetime which they should use for the acquisition of spiritual goods. And therefore also destructions of all kinds are in a certain sense a blessing, because humans lose thereby their material possession and are pointed out again and again to the transitoriness of the earthly, and the heaviest misfortunes or natural disasters can earn an exceeding spiritual advantage for humans, because God helps them, even if in painful way to separate from that, which chains them to the earth, so that they find more easily the way up. Again and again God shows people obviously and unmistakably that it is nonsensical to strive for earthly goods, and he instructs them to set a spiritual goal. He allows again and again that through human will destructive works are carried out, whereby the fellow human beings come to harm as he himself also intervenes directly and takes from the people what their heart is attached to. Always only for the purpose that they should direct their whole striving to what remains and follows them into eternity. As long as the human being does not deal with the fact that he uses his strength wrongly. As long as he only pays attention to the earthly material, so long he chases after dead goals so long his earthly life is an idle run and completely unsuccessful for his soul. And therefore the decay of the earthly will become more and more obvious, more and more painful events will startle men, and more and more enormous will be the destructions to which human life and earthly possessions will fall a victim, and it is the last purpose of it that men will be pointed to the transitoriness so that they will reflect and strive to acquire imperishable goods which can never be taken away from them. For it is the time of the end, where nothing will remain as it is, where only the goods will be valued, which are imperishable and which every man can still acquire. Amen.